So another bike shed business video. This time I've gotten out of London. I'm at Fast Tech Racing. Inside is loads of machinery, really cool stuff. I'm gonna go in, get a bit of a tour from Danny, hopefully see some bikes and show you guys what they're all about. So Danny, tell us a bit more about what Fast Tech Racing is. So Fast Tech Racing, we design and we manufacture all parts for your bikes. From a custom part to a race part, we can design it all here in-house in Newmarket. And some of you may recognize us from the bike shed from the shows and obviously Vicky's Ducati, which we did last year on the builds. We have Fast Tech Racing, Newmarket Motorcycles and Fast Tech Engineering. What we'll do is have a look around and show you some of these areas. So I recognise this one from uh, last year's show, yeah. Bike Shed Show. This one was at 2019 Bike Shed Show. It was due to a customer coming in on the 2017 show, seeing the Zephyr that we bought. We built, sorry. Um, he commissioned this build. It was slightly lighter than a CB750. Uh, the engine that was in the bike needed a little bit more love, so we've changed it out for a CB900 engine, which has had a road race tune to 1000 cc. It's got some high lift cams, gas flow, and some new carbs. Uh, the bike itself has had a lot of work. Rewire. It's got Bluetooth. It's got ZRX swing arm. Swing arm. Uh, the hubs we made ourselves and put some lace wheels on. It has camera front and rear. Uh, is that what this is here? Yeah. So, so is that connected there. to his helmet? No, that's all Screen. connected underneath the seat to a, a receiver. Oh, so just for security, so he can, if he yeah. gets knocked off, he's got a recording. Yeah. He can't see it yeah, visually. Yeah. What's happening now? Just At the moment, it's change? come in. It's just having a clutch change. Um, apart from that, she's she's all good. Obviously, a set of yokes housing a motor gadget speedo. Yeah, because this is what, you know, when I think fast tech, I think yokes. Yeah, predominantly we do a lot of yokes. So, customer may want like this one, he wanted his speedo housed. So, we design them. We normally do two or three designs, send it to the customer and see which one they're liking. Normally, we get it right first time by going from what they're thinking. Yeah. So, behind you, all this machinery. Yep, these are the machines we use in the manufacture. If we go around, we can have a look at some of the parts. So here we have a few of the parts that we've been machined on these machines. This is a bottom yoke. Uh, this one would have been machined on, on this here to start with. So we would have machined it from the bottom and we'd have done the first operation on that. Second operation would have been done on this machine, which is our five axis machine. Now this, would start life as a piece of billet material. In this case, 6082. Sometimes we use 7075. What's the difference? The strength of the material. Right. Um, so, if I show you on the machine how we would do that. So this is the five axis. This machine. is the five axis machine. So the first operation on there, as you can see, there's a yoke already been machined on the first side. We've fixed it to our clamp. Now on this machine, we have the ability to move in the X axis, the Y axis, the Z axis, and we can rotate and we can tilt. So we have the option then to come down. If we want to do any holes in the side, we can put those in from the top. All fully programmed CNC. So this comes out on here. And as it reads the program, the tools do their job. And this one's the This three one's axis. a three-axis machine. At the moment, it's just cutting the first top of a, a yoke, yeah. which we will come back and have a look at when it's finished. So Over here, we have another three-axis machine. Again, the smaller machine. <coughs> Currently working on uh, headlight brackets. So we're going to open that to show you. <coughs> so we can hold stuff within these vices or we can machine fixtures within the vices to hold the components. Once they're set up and machined, we can, whether it's be a one off or a ten off, each part's going to come out the same. And these are those over there. This is the job that it's doing at the moment, which is the start of a headlight bracket. So it started off as a flat billet. Machine that side, machine the hole through the top, and it will now be faced off and finished. So, 
now onto bikes. Yep, so this is one of the bikes which we're hoping to have finished for this year's Bike Shed Show. Um, it's uh, based on a Katana. We've put a GSX 1400 engine in and we're going to keep the injection on it. So it's got a GSX 1400 swing arm. The wheels, front and rear, both have a Triumph Thruxton R, as is the forks. How's the top yoke that we've manufactured? Again, fat bar risers. Um, this, this, this one's still got a few parts to be manufactured and, and finished, but we do hope that you'll be able to see this one at the bike shed in May. Next to that, um, one of the little bikes that we, we sell through Newmarket Motorcycles, which is a Bullet Hero. This one's a customer's bike. Uh, he's had uh, different headlights put on, different indicators, different handlebars and exhaust. So again, even though a smaller 125 customers had it modified to suit themselves. And you sell bullet bikes upstairs in New we do, Newmarket yes. Motorcycles, yeah. which we'll look at in a bit. So at the end here, we've got Sarah's Triumph. Again, it's got a set of our yokes on it. And it's got one of our clock covers, which we machine. Uh, we've got some tiny little holes so the little light shining through. And if you haven't noticed, I did notice that. Yeah. <laughs> one of the bike shed logos available at the bike shed. So that's laser etched. Those ones are, yep. Yeah, they're yeah. Uh, machines, anodized, and then laser etched. And there's another one around the corner. And they come as a set. That's a set, yeah. yeah. So I've spotted another workshop. What's yeah. through there? In here, this is uh, what we call our build room. So at the moment we've got a couple of bikes in for this one's got an engine repair, so we're having an engine rebuild. And that's on the bench. Um, and this one, the Velocet 350, 1962, again coming in for some some work. So is this a restoration? This is a, a semi-restoration for a customer. Um, he, he's got a few issues, just need to sort them out for him so he can enjoy riding it. Down the floor we've got a set of uh, BMW forks. Now they've come in, the customer is putting a later set of forks on an early bike. We've made a spindle for him. Um, now we've got to look at disc spacers. Uh, the new forks are wider, so we've got, he wants to keep the early wheels, so we'll put the disc spacers on there so he can use that. This is one of our hubs that's been laced up to, to go on a CX500. So We've designed the hub and then we've laced it to this rim. Again, we do those for various bikes. So normally if we're doing a final build on a bike, we do it in here or work on engines and do rebuild work. This is the quiet space. Yeah, quiet clean room. And over here, all the manual tools. Over here we've got the manual lathe and our semi-manual semi CNC half lathe. Again, we use these, uh, machine anything from foot pegs um, these ones here are brass. Uh, we've got some next jobs going up. There's some stem nuts. So we've got that one to get set and running. That'll be made from 7075 aluminium. We've got a project going on over here, which is this Royal Enfield. Uh, this is one we're working with Cooper B Motorcycles. Um, it's going to be a kit which is going to be available for sale. At the moment, we're just finishing off the exhaust system which we manufacture, we do some drawings of the ideas of the pipes that we want. We'll then manufacture that using pie cuts to get that in the correct place. Once it's in the correct placement, we'll then look at manufacture of those parts. This kit is gonna have a seat unit, a front mud guard, front light, and a side panel. The exhaust will be available extra, and so will the yokes. Uh, the tracker style yokes. Again, a bit of a change from the ones that are on the original Enfield. So, so when, are, when are these going to be available? Again, somehow? this 650, we would like to see this one at the bike shed this year. Oh really? So yeah. that kit is going to be available from then? We're hoping that the launch of it at the bike shed. I think a lot of people so, will be excited for that. Yeah. We're going to do two different front ends, so 
we'll have the four inch light and maybe two smaller LEDs uh, and also we'll have a seat unit on there as well so that's about it down the workshop for now let's uh, go on upstairs have a look in the showroom so here we are new market motorcycles this is our showroom we have a stock of bullet bikes we have clothing and apparel we've got moto girl merlin the bike shed ls2 swagger and jacks bell helmets so we keep up here customer bikes are waiting for delivery or collection like this little honda again cb750 one that we've finished off for the customer set of yokes small motor gadget inset speedo some brass clip-ons a lot of brass on this one lots of brass it's uh it, the customer found this headlight and basically the build was then built around this headlight and a fuel cap which he purchased when he, on a trip to America. So we call it the steampunk bike, but she's turned out nice. There's another, another one over there, that's the next show. Yeah, that one was at Bike Shed 2018. This is quite special to you. Yeah, this is a personal bike of mine. Um, as with many people who build bikes, I still haven't got around to finishing it completely. But I've owned this one for 27, 28 years now. So that's a keeper. I love that front end on it. Thank you. And behind it, this is, a, this is probably the best showcase of the, the range of stuff that Fast Tech do. Yeah, we've got here, we've got some yokes, we've got some velocity stacks. Um, we actually got a picture on the wall over there of the uh, Death Machines of London bike that we done the stacks on. That was the Air Force. That was the Air Force. And we've also, we work with Untitled Motorcycles, De Bolex, Down and Out, Simroja. You name it, we try and work with the best people. And you were telling me earlier on uh, you do a lot of stuff for BSB. Yes, we're, we're quite heavy into the BSB. We work with MSS Performance, Royal Air Force Reserves and PBM. Um, the Royal Air Force Reserves, we, we do a semi-sponsor throughout the BSP season. So some of the parts here uh, range from the hubs. So we've got a front hub. We can machine those, basically, or design these, should I say, for any motorcycle that people want us to. Um, we use that so that the standard bearings and tubes from the standard bike will fit. And all of the stuff that we see on the shelf made on those three axis and five axis machines downstairs? Yep, yeah, most of these parts have. Some of the parts are turned on the lathes. Um, we do, do the Triumph sprocket covers. Uh, that's from the older versions. Yep, yeah, that is. And there, again, bike shed? Yep, yeah, bike shed Triumph T100. So what's that, so the ignition cover? That's the ignition cover, yep. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. There's a set down there which we do that are available at the bike shed. So they're the laser etched ones for the clutch cover and... Yeah, these are billet machines, then we have them anodized and then laser etched. So we range, like we say, from yokes, foot pegs, stem nuts, handlebars, lights. So we've got a headlight unit. So all of this machining actually comes from before Fast Tech Racing existed? Yeah, we started off with Fast Tech Engineering. What we'll do is we'll take a walk through and I'll show you where it all started. So how long has Fast Tech Racing been going on? Fast Tech Racing, we started in 2010 after John and I took over Fast Tech Engineering in 2002. This is our storeroom, parts that we manufacture for sale. Um, these are parts that have came in from, from Anodizer, so they're ready to be packed and go out. So what made you start Fast Tech Racing? Fast set racing started really because of uh, work I was doing on my son's motocross bikes. Um, I started making parts for them. I ended up doing some parts for some of the BSB teams and then it just grew and grew and grew from there. So these are the, uh, the engineering equipment. We do a lot of work for oil and gas, subsea, automation of any kind. Um, all the machines, as you can see, all, all new machines. Here we have machining centres. CNC lathes coming down the outside, and at the back there we've got some sliding head machines. So out here we can machine anything from aluminium to stainless steel, brass, phosphor bronze. You name it, we can machine it, apart from wood. <laughs> and over here I found something that made me laugh, but there's, there's a practical side to this. 
Yes, yeah. This is a tooling vendor uh, supplied to us by WNT. Basically, what this enables us to do is have tooling on site and have it available to use in an instant. Rather than ringing up and having to wait two days for delivery, we can use it, and as we use it, we pay for it. So it's got um, another added advantage is they restock, so again, it saves us time, and we always know that on site we've got the tooling required. It's not usual chocolate bars. No, no usual chocolate bars. <laughs> so, a little bit noisy here, so let's go into the other room, back into the showroom. Right, that yoke's finished now, so let's go take a look. So here we have the first operation of that one is finished. That yoke has gone from that billet to the first operation. After that operation, it then goes on to the five-axis machine, where we will finish it off one more operation. That yoke should be done. So I hope you've enjoyed the video and the tour around Fast Set Racing. We will hopefully have our Katana and our Royal Enfield finished for May, so we'll see you at the Bike Shed Show. Thank you for watching.